approach the name reveal of our little bean. We're getting close. We're getting close, so be patient Hang and in stay there. tuned. Just a little longer. <laughs> we thought that we would uh, record a video telling you 10 baby girls' names that we love, but we won't be using. Mm -hmm. So these are names that actually made our list, and you know, we thought very, very hard about them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Although, uh -huh. we have to say that the yeah. actual name that we chose for our baby girl right. is a name that we've really known for about 10 years now. I mean, we, we started for what Every reason, there's no explanation for this, but we started talking about this name within the first few months that we were together. And dating. Dating, dating, dating still. still. We were like, I don't know, just like one of those late night conversations probably. If we have a baby girl, this would be her name. And it stuck and yeah. it stayed with us. And these other names, they like sort of came on to the list and off of the list over the course of the last right. 10 years. But as much as we like them, none of them could ever dethrone our number one. Yeah. Our number one name, her name, she, you know, it's been her name for a long time, way before she existed or was part of our lives. But we knew that one day we would use that name. Yeah. So. There's no way that we wouldn't use this name, but those 10 that we're going to be telling you guys are names that we really love. Yeah, and names that we, I think, fell in love with over the course of the last yeah, 10 years. for sure. Each of us are going to say five names that we love, but we won't be using. And Ryan is going to go ahead and start with Sounds the first Sounds good. I know. <laughs> and these aren't necessarily like my five and Priscilla's right. five, but just names that we both like and yeah. we'll each share a few with you. But to be fair, the, the order that we're telling you there's some that we are more par like I'm par more partial to some and you're more partial yeah, to some. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. So I will get it started here. Our number one name, and, and this guy's is like the runner up. If for yeah. whatever reason we did not use the name that we chose, this would have been the name. Which so. Is <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> so our number one name is Ava. Mm -hmm. We love that name. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just think it's so beautiful. Yeah. And it sounds uh, so pretty and yeah. ethereal and just a pretty name. I think so too. And spoiler alert here, if we ever have a second, if we have another little girl, we're going to call her Ava, I think. Yeah, you know? I, I think mean, so too. I just I think that would be the, the next name. If we had twins, Ava would have been the name of the second girl if and, there was one. We talked about that. Right, and that's how we came to Ava, chose Ava basically, was yeah. that because we had such a high chance of twins and mm -hmm. we were thinking that if we had two little girls, you know, the first one would be the name that we picked, and then yep. the second one would be Ava. Yeah, and like, don't even get us started on boys' names because those we couldn't agree <laughs> at all. We couldn't, no, that was hard. I'm like the name Ixnayer. Like, Priscilla yeah. will come to me with a list and she'll be like, what do you think of this? And I'm like, no. Nope. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I have my reasons, but Ava we thought was beautiful. And, and I can't say why, it's just, it sounds classic to me, yeah. and, and I love it. Yeah. yeah, you guys will see a pattern in the names that we choose. They're kind of like, it's funny because they're usually short names, mm -hmm. and they're just cute little girls' names. I, I can't explain more than that. Maybe you agree or not, but it just sounds like they're yeah. cute names, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so number two is Lily. I love the name Lily. I've always loved it. I think it's yeah. so cute and precious and you know I can just envision a little girl with you know running around named Lily and yeah. you are the one who like I like more than you. You do but I mean I, I like it a lot. I'll yeah. say that Lily is also really high on my list and yeah. I did a good job of saying it right there but yeah. Lily for some reason <laughs> is a tongue twister for That's me. Why, I don't know why yeah. but that was always the reason that I said. I right. was like Lily Lily. I, okay. it's, it's a little bit hard for me to say but I, I think it's so pretty. Number three on our list, guys, is Penny. And I liked this one a lot. It's uh, so cute. I'm a big Beatles fan. It sounds like Penny Lane. Yeah. It's it's just little and cute, and it almost sounds like a nickname, right? It does. It's, like, it's almost like a nickname for Penelope. Penelope, yeah. But we would go with only Penny. I think we would yeah. just go for Penny yeah. if we if we had our choice. So right. yeah, that was definitely on our list too. Also, guys, another thing that is worth saying is that we try to choose names that are easily pronounced in both English and Portuguese. This is very important. To yeah, mention. because not all names will work. Even if we love a certain name, if it doesn't work well in Portuguese, for example, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to use it because of the difficulty in pronunciation. So Yeah, absolutely. Do you yeah. think any of these have been would be knocked off the list already because of it? Yeah, not the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Number 4, it's Avery. Um I love that name. I think it's so pretty and again just like 
just pretty. It sounds so nicely, mm -hmm. but it would not work in Portuguese because Portuguese is a language that you know the R, the letter R's are usually said um, yeah. in a harsh way, like ra or ha. Right. They and, sound like H's yeah, so often. Also. Right, and then the the rolling R doesn't work in Portuguese, and I think every single time she she would come to Brazil with us, you mm -hmm. know, in the future, people wouldn't understand her name. I also love the name Avery because it's. A name that is used in a song of one of my favorite bands, the Decemberists. They are a band from Portland, Oregon. And the song itself, it's quite sad. Yeah, it's a downer. <laughs> yeah, it's a downer. <laughs> but this, the name just sounds so pretty in the song that, you know, I think that's the first time I heard it. And I was like, oh, I really like that name. But again, it wouldn't work here in Brazil. Name number five is Hazel. And is it a coincidence that I have hazel eyes? <laughs> I don't know. I have no explanation it's for that. It's pretty, yeah. If she had hazel eyes as well, I'm like, yeah. it was named Hazel. Yeah. Pretty. I like it. It sounds a little bit more old fashioned also yeah. than hazel, but. I love the name Hazel as well, but I know a girl who has a cat named Hazel, <laughs> and I think it's such, a, this. it's such a pretty name for a cat as well, for a, you know, for anybody. <laughs> but I am super allergic to cats, and. I think that, you know, this is a no-go for us. <laughs> Isn't it funny how names work? Like, if you know, yeah, yeah an animal that's been named this, right. or if you just happen to have known a person that had this name right. in your life, and that person was not a favorite of yours, right. I mean, that could be enough to put the kibosh on a name. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is the case with the next name. It is. <laughs> um, and it's name number six. I love the name Abigail. I think it's so pretty and you know, having a little girl named Abigail that we can call her Abby, right. yeah. I thought would be beautiful. I do love it for that. I love yeah. it for Abby being able to shorten it up like that. I don't think that it sounds the prettiest in Portuguese, uh -huh. it, yeah. to my ear at least. It's Abigail yeah, in Abigail, Portuguese, yeah. but it is a, a name that works here in Brazil. Right, I mean, yeah. Parents name their, their daughters this all the time. But It's a very old fashioned name in mm -hmm. Brazil, so I actually, my grandma actually, had a sister named Abigail. I wasn't close with, with my grandma's sister or anything, but I always thought the name Abigail sounded really pretty in Portuguese, mm -hmm. and it sounds really pretty in English as well, but you knew people. I did, I did, so it's just it's just not my favorite name <laughs> right. for that reason alone. <laughs> you vetoed it right away yeah. also. I was like, oh, nope, that'll never happen. <laughs> Uh, name number seven is Eloise. Oh, that's Eloise. Such a pretty name. And I like it. I think that you know you could call her L if you wanted yeah. to. I know you don't like the name L just on its own yeah. as much, but I think it's a cute nickname. And again, it's another classic name like Eloise and Hazel and yeah. Eva. They definitely all harken back to an era. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. very kind of beautiful, old-fashioned, and just. Mm -hmm cute little, you know, short names. Yeah, like, like old Hollywood starlet names, exactly. you know, from the golden age of film yeah. or something. I love the, no the name Eloise. I think yeah. it's a beautiful name. It's a name that perhaps can stay in our list for the future. Yeah, perhaps. because you never know. Yeah. <laughs> and then name number eight that I love, and Ryan as well, is Maisie. And yeah. I think Maisie is such a cute name. Again, I can just envision a little girl running around with maybe like a flower on her head or maybe, something. Maybe a daisy. Yeah, something. Maisie loves daisies. daisies. <laughs> Could be. But I just think the name Maisie is mm -hmm. adorable. It, it would be a hard name in Brazil as well, not because of the pronunciation, but right. more of the spelling. Right, exactly right. That it wouldn't really, you know, if we were to come to Brazil, people wouldn't know how to pronounce her name if they were reading it. Mm -hmm. So another name that, you know, wouldn't quite work because of that. Yeah, I like the name a lot. It it's, has almost like a country sort of appeal to me. Yeah. Like a little girl, like I picture a girl running yeah, yeah. through a field, picking that. flowers oh. and doing all those things. A little so. Maisie. <laughs> yeah, a little Maisie. Uh, name number nine is Madeline. Uh, so it's a French name here. Yeah. And it's another one of those names that we could shorten. Uh, we love to shorten things. So yeah, we, we could call her Maddie. You know, it would be so cute, I think. Yeah. We love the name Madeline. I think it's also very classic sounding. Very and much so. Yeah, it's very French, but just classic and cute and pretty mm -hmm. and I think a little girl named Maddie yeah. running around would be so cute. Would be. How, yeah. would, how would Madeline work in Portuguese? Portuguese? I don't think I've ever asked you that. Yeah, um, in Portuguese the name Madeline would be translated to Madalena which mm -hmm. is not the uh, to me sounds also very old school mm -hmm. you know in Portuguese. I think so also. And 
it's not a very common name in this generation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think we would still tell people that her name was Madeline. Right. Just people would have, I think Brazilians would have a hard time pronouncing it. Yeah, and who knows, maybe some of these old names will make a comeback in Brazil. Yeah, so Because that's definitely what you're seeing in this last few years in the States, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. This trend of classic names being Coming brought back, back yeah. to the forefront. So. For sure. And our tenth and last yeah, name here it is. is Gabriella, which is the most Latin sounding name of uh, you know of our entire list. Yeah. And I loved the name Gabriella from a very young age, and I think that it's one of those names that I yes, I still love it, but still makes the list. Yeah. But it wouldn't be our favorite like it's, name. It's number ten for right. a reason. Right. Number on the ten list. Yeah. for a reason. Obviously, we would call her perhaps Gabby. You know, if she. It back in the States, yeah. yeah, but Gabriela works really well in Brazil, it's a very uh, typical name here in Brazil, Gabriela, that, that would be yeah. the pronunciation. I mean, this, is a, this is a Brazilian name, it requires no translation, no, translation, no, nothing. no problems, yeah. not like Ryan, not like right. Pion, <laughs> exactly. I have such a pretty name in Portuguese. <laughs> so it wouldn't require any translation, but it's a name that you know I've loved when I was very young, and one of those things, like when you're a teenager, like, oh, I love the name Gabriella, you know, maybe one day when I have a little girl, she'll be Gabriella. But then you grow up and then you kind of like fall out of love with it. So, you know, the name Gabriella still makes a list because mm -hmm. it is a pretty name, yeah. but I don't think it would be our preferred name. Yeah, and it's a connection to your past. It's, it's a true. name that you once upon a time loved, so it definitely deserves to be in the top 10. Agreed. So, that's our list, guys. Let us know, please, what you think of all of these. Yeah. We, again, we would have used Ava in a heartbeat, I think. Yeah. Had we, had we not had the name already picked out that we're going to uh -huh. use. Do keep on waiting patiently for it because, you know, we're getting close, but we yeah. want to do it the right way for you guys. Yeah. So we're excited to share that news when the time comes. For sure. We really hope that you guys liked all the names that we listed today. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what was your favorite name of the ones that we listed, or if you have any other suggestion, or if you have guesses. Mm -hmm. um, I like that also. Yeah, what do you think? Our little bean is going to be named. Yeah, have we <laughs> slipped up in any video and yeah. almost said it? Like, have you been able to read between the lines? Let us know what you think. Yeah. And also let us know if there was, like, a second name on your list that you were, like, you were so torn between two. You yeah. ended up picking one, but, like, if you had another girl, you would definitely name her. Yeah. You know, if there's a name like Ava sort of on your list also. For sure. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a great big thumbs up and leave a lovely comment down below for us. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we'll see you back in our next video. Bye. Bye. There's so many ways to escape, but I guess it's not to